Hi guys, it's Ray. If you watched my previous video, you saw me do a set of wine glasses using the waterfall green technique that I wasn't super in love with at the point that I'm switching to this video, but I actually ended up liking the white one under the resin way more than I liked it prior to getting the resin on it, but while I was doing that, I decided why not do same color scheme using the epoxy method of putting the alcohol inks on versus the waterfall technique that I used there where you do your alcohol before it ever sees the epoxy. So I'm going to do the same exact thing here. I'm going to put 15 mLs on each cup. I'm going to use the rainforest green, the Baja blue, a drop or two of the Mantella black, and the rich gold on the clear glass and I'm going to move it around with my heat gun. On the white one, I'm going to use cloudy blue, moss green, and salmon. Those three are Tim Holtz. The other three were pinatas. Um, and I'm also going to use the gold on the white cup. This one I just taped off, spray painted white. I like to leave a rim on the glass, so I always, always, always tape when I work on glass. Because I'm doing this with resin, I will have to set a time, and I'm using liquidy split, so I'm going to have to be quick, and I'm going to have to watch my heat. But because I'm doing this with resin, I will have to come in and pull my tape about a half hour after I'm done because it is a fast set resin. So, I'm going to switch over to fast mode and get all this done. So, here we go. Okay, so you saw me dump black in where there was not supposed to be any black. That was great. Uh, I think I got it all off though, so yay. Because um, literally it is always something with me. So I'm going to scoot this piece of paper down a little bit because I want to... I had to take one of my gloves off because I had to pull my sleeve up. Um... I actually don't think I'm going to mess with this one at all. I think the only thing I'm going to do is flip the direction. And somebody asked in another video why you'll see us rotate the direction. It's just because it'll stop it from running in straight lines the direction it's running. As your resin starts to set, it's all going to keep moving this way and it could potentially ball more up in a line. If you stop your rotation, you can kind of control that to some extent. So, but I'll just change it. And I think this is already starting to set up pretty well. So, because I'm tilting it and it's not really, I don't see any spot that's running. So, I'm going to come over to the other one and change that one as well and see if that one wants to tilt at all if it wants to move and look i got my tape where it doesn't belong 
Ay, ay, ay. You don't want your tape touching your cup because you won't be able to get it back off. So the green really, really took over even after I added all that blue at the end. I have almost no blue. And a ton of gold. But I'm okay with that. I'm going to put... some more blue in and just let it do its thing at this point. This gold's definitely clumped more than this one, but I kind of expect that on a white base, especially with the amount I put on there with the mess up and everything. But I'm okay with that. I think I like the gold. You can see this gold sliding now. It's going to kind of pull back together again at the bottom. But if you want to take some of the gold down, you can either um, grab a popsicle stick and break it up a little bit. Do keep in mind, I am using Liquidy Split, so I only have just so long to mess with this one. Um, and that'll kind of settle itself back in. You can already see it doing it. That spot I might need to help out. If they don't want to settle back in, just use your finger and help them spread back in. Just try not to mix your colors if you're super concerned about that. Um, you could also use a silicone brush to do this, spreading it out. And if you want, you can come back in and hit that with your heat again, just to um, blend it back together a little bit. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to hit that with heat just real, real quick. Um, my alcohol should be dry enough. I should be able to just actually torch it real quick because I'm going to torch these anyways. torch them to get any remaining bubbles out. There really shouldn't be many because the alcohol ink should have really taken care of any bubbles. So, I've been recording for 19 minutes or so, so I probably had the resin on the cup for 15-ish. So I'm going to watch my clock in 15 minutes. I'm going to come back in and pull the tape and um, let these dry. And then we'll be back once they're dry. And when they're dry and the other ones are completely dry, I will come back in at the end of both videos and compare them to one another. So I will be back. Okay, so I switched the direction again so I can show you how I pull the tapes. So it's easiest if the cup is spinning like opposite the way you wrapped the tape. Um, if you forget to remove the tape in time, 
you're going to have a very difficult time with an X-Acto knife cutting it out. So do, do make sure you set yourself a reminder to pull that tape. It is super important. So there's one. And it'll have a little tab where the tail is. Um, you can try and wipe it off while it's wet. but And I have a little bit at the top of this glass too that I'm going to have to clean up. But um, you can get it off when it dries too. So I'm going to wait for the other one to come around here again. And just let the direction of the spin help you remove the tape. But this way you'll have a nice clean line at the edge. And make sure you're pulling it away from the cup so it doesn't come back down and hit the cup. So, that is it. I will be back when it is dry and I can handle these again. Okay, so these are dry. I can pull them off their turners now. So you can see them. Let me shut the turners down. Oh, you know what? This one's not quite dry, contrary to what I thought. Shoot. <sighs> so, <laughs> now I have fingerprints on this one. I'm going to try and melt them out with my torch. Oh, it's funny, they felt completely dry. So I am just going to show them to you anyways and not handle the base again. And I did get a little of epoxy on the top, so it's got a little tiny bit of the foam stuck to it, but let me um, see if I can scooch this a little bit so it is out of the way. Anyways, and those prints did disappear, um, but I will clean that up with a little acetone. So there is this one. I think it's beautiful. Um, I really, really like it. I'm going to set it aside carefully and I will just let it finish curing upside down like that so here's this one that was on the white base and I actually think this came out pretty I did end up with one little open white spot here and one little spot here but really not the end of the world. Like I said, I've got this little tab piece here where my tape was. I will scrape that off of the blade and hit it with um, just a little bit of acetone right there and that'll take that right off. So I'm going to um, get the other two tumblers, or yeah, the other two glass ones that I did with the other method so we can compare them side by side. Okay, so here's the other one that I did with the epoxy method. And this is the one that I did with the waterfall technique. You can see how, whoops, very, very different they are. They're still both beautiful cups, but um, very, very different end result. I really lost almost all of the blue on this one, even though I'd added a ton more. So um, 
that's how these look. They'll sit to the side and finish curing completely. You hear me dropping them. And then trying to get this one picked up carefully. So these are the two that were done on the clear. This was the epoxy one. This was the rain technique. I am going to say that this is beautiful. I love the amount of gold in it. Um, I like of the two epoxy ones. I like this one better, but I like them both, but I still prefer the rain one. But two different techniques on glass glass just so you can see a comparison so there you go waterfall rain technique just using alcohol before the epoxy and doing the alcohol inks right into the epoxy but same color palette on both so there you go thank you for watching